Going over a quick review of the relationship of the sun's angle and the intensity of solar radiation, you should be able to recognize at this point that if the angle of light is coming in at a 90 degree angle as shown here, this would be the equator during our spring and fall. This would be the most direct angle of sunlight at 23.5 degrees north during the first day of our summer and 23.5 degrees south during the first day of our winter. As you move from the location of the most direct sunlight, the sunlight is coming in at a lesser angle, such as here you can see at 45 degrees, or at places like the north and south pole at a 30 degree angle or less. We can kind of compare this to someone flashing a flashlight in your eyes. If it's flashed directly in your eyes or at a little bit of an angle, you can recognize the change in intensity that occurs. So, from that, we know now that the seasons are actually caused by the Earth's changing orientation to the sun. We are not closer to the sun in the summertime or farther away from the sun in the wintertime. It's actually because we are at an angle of 23.5 degrees that different locations re receive different <laughs> intensities of sunlight. We're actually always pointed in the same direction, so we don't wobble, we don't go from having the north <laughs> and south pole pointed that way to then switching our orientation like that. We're actually always in this direction and then if this was our sun and we revolve around that sun when we came over to this side we'd still have the north pole pointing in this direction and the south pole pointing in this direction. We don't switch. So this gives you an overall view of the relationship of the Earth to the Sun. You can see we are quickly approaching this week. Um, we're approaching the first day of spring right here, which you're going to want to mark these dates on your paper. March 21st to 22nd is approximately the day when the equator receives the most direct sunlight. Um, during the fall, the first day of fall, September 22nd to 23rd, the equator again gets that most direct sunlight. You can see um, as we approach summer here, June would be the dates, uh, June 21st to 22nd, when north of the equator, this would be at 23 and a half degrees north of the equator, would get that most direct sunlight. And then in the wintertime, it would be 23 and a half degrees south of the equator, and those dates are December 21st to 22nd approximately. You should also have an idea at this point of how many hours of sunlight each of the different locations receive due to the change in the angle of insulation that that area is receiving. So just like in our lab, if it is um, spring or fall, the first day of spring or the first day of fall, you can see here that every place on the planet is going to receive 12 hours of sunlight because no hemisphere is tilted toward or away from the uh, lights, the rays of the sun. Here for summer, and this winter should be over here, you can see that, and it makes sense, in summertime our days tend to get longer, so we see greater than 12 hours of sunlight during our summertime, and in our wintertime we have shorter days, so you can see we only have about 9 to 10 and a half hours of sunlight in the wintertime.